Hi my friends, how are you? I hope every, everybody is fine. My name is Daniel Villarino. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you remember in the previous video, my friend Eric gave me this piece of uh, wood as a gift. It's a beautiful piece of tulip wood. It's a wood that grows in the Brazilian Northeast. It's from the family of the rose goods, the cocobolo, granadillo, etc. And uh, it's very hard and very dense, but uh, also a bit oily, so it should accept very nice finish. And it has a beautiful grain. I have been thinking about what I, I was going to do with this piece. And at the beginning I thought about doing a, a box. But then I look at the way the, the blank is cut, with this shape and uh, it, it is a, a ball blank so I thought maybe I will do a, blow, a ball in this direction like this because of the grain pattern I think that may give a very spectacular uh, look to the, to the ball if you see I already marked a couple of circles there uh, the small circle fits inside here so I can center the blank perfectly there and the large one is uh, to give me the maximum diameter that the ball will have and that way I can cut these corners uh, on the meter saw uh, so that it's going to be easier uh, to work with the tools there without having a, a catch okay so the idea is uh, to mount it with this face towards the face plate like that to make a mortise on this side finish the base then turn it around mount it in the chuck on in expansion mode uh, do the rest of the finishing from the outside and also emptying the inside and uh, finishing the inside and since a couple of days ago was my wife's uh, birthday I think uh, I'm going to do it uh, for her for Paula okay so stick around and let's get to work. The jaws that I'm going to use are these and they have an external diameter of uh, two and a half inches which is uh, about uh, 63 millimeters so my idea is to expand the jaws in the mortise for that what I'm going to do is to measure that diameter so that I can make the, do the mortise of that size
Okay, uh, I have a problem. I didn't realize when I made the holes for the screws for the faceplate, uh, they were too deep. And uh, basically, I have three of them that have not disappeared yet, and the wall is already very thin. So, what I'm going to do is uh, to save the piece, if I can, uh, try to fix it, put in there uh, CA glue mix with um, yes, some of the shavings, dust of the shavings, try to fill it and, uh, and see what happens. I don't know if you can see it, but here, here, and here, I have applied several layers of CA glue with the dust of the shavings, and once in a while I, I spray a bit of activator to help in, in uh, curing. So uh, now I am going to give it uh, a light pass to remove all the excess and then basically with sanding should, should be okay. So let's see what happens. I have to finish still the base. Okay, I measure everything and the thickness of the wall is pretty even, except at the base that is a little thicker because I have the mortise there. So now I'm going to sand it and finish it. And uh, it looks like the filling of CA glue and uh, shavings work pretty well. Uh, if you don't tell anybody, uh, we can say that these are warm poles. Okay, thank you. Okay, my friends, I have finished this small ball or jewel tray or whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's beautiful wood. Let me get closer so that you can take a look. The grain is really, really nice. I finished it with a friction polish. That's the base. It is finished also with some detail. It's a big base so that it has nice support. I made this slip on the border and in the inside, um, let me see if I can show you, um, maybe there you can see over there and over there are the marks of the repairs that I did uh, to fill the holes of the screws um, to, to hold it to the faceplate. 
for the next time I have uh, to take that into consideration and use uh, shorter screws probably or uh, try to make the shape different so that they will avoid the, the hole left by the screw. But uh, in any case uh, I am uh, satisfied with the repair. I think it's a nice piece and uh, I hope uh, my wife likes it. I will wrap it and give it to her uh, in a few minutes. Uh, for you my friends, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please mark the like button below. Also make comments and if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing that. That way, uh, every time I upload a new video, you will receive a new notification. And it will be until the next one. Cheers!